Hello, everybody. Welcome back, Just Car Rob. All right, had some questions about this uh, utility knife thing here, box cutter, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so basically, this is just your standard Stanley 299 made in the US of A. We take this screw out. This is a non retractable knife. And bada boom. Just a regular old utility blade that I've cut down. And, you know, you got two positions. And then you got where you can move it all the way back. But it's still got just a little bit sticking out there. Okay. So, you can see what I've done here. I moved it out to the end position and just cut an angle on there. And then you got a spot to hold a couple extra blades in the back, which you can go ahead and pre-cut um, in case you're not anywhere as near a sharpening device. You can just unscrew it and change your blade out. And then you can put your screw back in. I guess you'd have to have a screwdriver or a dime. A dime will fit in the flat spot there where you can undo it. I've done that before. Use a dime or a quarter. Well, I don't know about a quarter. Maybe a quarter. I don't know. I don't got I don't got a quarter. <laughs> I got a Phillips head screwdriver. But nice thing with this is you can use a Phillips head or a flat head. If you got a multi-tool, you're all set. Okay, then we got this one here which is one that you can pick up at Lowe's or Menards or Home Depot. It's, uh, make sure you get a decent built one. I've done a little carving on this one. A little engraving. Okay. And you can use, carry that in your pocket for a backup uh, carving knife. Just, I'm going to cut that blade. This thing is a bear to get the blade out of. I don't know, I think maybe I bent something in it somewhere along the line. Or this blade got bent. But it's supposed to be a... Uh, you don't have a spare blade with this. I fought with it yesterday to get this blade out of here so I could uh, move it out to the second position. So basically all I'm going to do is the same thing I did to this one. Cut it back. And, uh, yeah. So I've got a Dremel cutoff wheel set up in my micro motor, and the blade is spinning to me, so it's going to throw sparks at me. So if I go this way, the blade is spinning away from me, so it will throw sparks away from me. Yeah, that's the way we want to do it. And uh, just going to take it nice and easy. Don't want to heat the blade up and lose the temper in it. Uh, you might want to have a little bucket of water to dip it in to keep it cool. We can turn that down a little bit. We don't need it at 45,000 RPM. That right there. And then we'll just come down from the top and cut that off. You have to watch it because the blade will wiggle a little bit on you. You're probably better off having the blade out of the unit and in a vise, which is the way I would normally do it. Just take your time. No big rush. Don't want to hurt yourself. And that's it. Yeah, I know. Don't use your cutoff wheels like this. I'm sure I'll hear about it. 
sure I'll hear about it. I'm just taking that sharp edge off the back. And this one came out a little bit thinner than that one. Actually, I think got a little more blade hanging out on that one. Which is okay. Let's see. Yeah, this one actually has a little more blade sticking out on it. Uh, maybe I didn't get that all the way out in the out position. Where's my Phillips head screwdriver? But you can see the profile on this one is a little bit, you know, the handle is a little bit different than that one. Uh, this, this one, the blade, you know, when you close it, it folds it in. Yeah, see, I didn't put it all the way out. There we go. Just a quick little video on changing my utility knives into carving knives. Let's see, how does it work? Look at that. I'm gonna need to sharpen it. This is a stain. I haven't done anything to this blade yet as far as uh, clean it up or anything. Okay, yeah, but we can see how flexible that blade is. If you don't like flexible blades, just leave it in the original blade form or cut it back on a, you know, change your angle so it's not so thin at the end. But yeah, you can sharpen this up just like a uh, regular carving knife. Like that. I, you can see I nicked it a little bit. I was being a little careless. But yeah. And this one came out a little bit thinner in the width. Um, I would say this for me. This one works really good. Yeah, you can definitely tell this blade is skinnier by the flexibility of the blade. But yeah, there you go. Cheap cheap carving knife. And the, the cool thing about this one is, boom. Now you can put it in your pocket and uh, go out in the woods and find yourself a stick and carve it. All right. All right. Still having problems getting that blade out of there. I think I my my thingies here messed up, but I carried this. I I did a lot of box cutting with this when I was uh, working in a factory. Yep. All right, all right. That's it for today, people. Have a good one. Just carve, carve something awesome. Carve every day you can. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, all right. Bye bye.